we're going to go ahead and get started covering widgets today. All right. My name is Jeff True. I'm with IDX Brokers sales team. Been with our company for a little over eight years now. Today, we're just going to discuss on the sales side of things, more or less, widgets and your real estate websites. What all we offer, what types of widgets, how they work, what some of the options are with them, and basically how to grab like the embed script and all those options. So it's kind of just a rundown of what widgets are, which widgets are an embeddable script to display something on your actual page itself. It's going to be one that you can have like a predefined search. It could be a quick search widget. It could be logins page, all sorts of different things. We're going to go over those. So all the widgets that IDX Broker offers for you. Uh, we have a quick search widget, a carousel widget, lead login widget, showcase widget, slideshow widget. And now we have those ones there are ones that cover across light and platinum. The ones that are platinum only are going to have my asterisks on it. So map search is a platinum only widget. Lead sign up is a platinum only widget. Market reports for platinum. And then one different one that we have is the Omnibar, which that widget there is specifically to only WordPress accounts. That one's actually going to be using our WordPress plugin in order to display that. If at any time you have questions with what we are going over, Feel free to send those questions in within the app. I have Bishop online. He's answering those questions. There's going to be some that I will hold off and answer in person at the end of the webinar as well. So we're going to get started. Quick search widgets. Uh, these are a responsive, ready quick search widget that provides with a small basic search form that you can display anywhere on your website. Each widget that you create, I'm only going to show this image one time. What this is, is this is the embed script. Once you create the widget, it's going to allow you to copy this script and go embed this anywhere that you would like. Now, quick search widgets, slideshow, carousel, showcases, those widgets can realistically be added to any domain that's out there. On these domains, if it's on a separate domain than what's on the IDX Broker account, it will redirect back to either a results or details page subdomain that's set up on the IDX Broker account. With the Quick Search widget, it allows you to put in uh, min, max, square foot, beds, baths, and choose your city. We've got two different options on these. We've got the horizontal and verticals. So the verticals on the right hand side over there, horizontal on the bottom of the screen. So depending on what you're looking to do, if you're looking to put it in between something or down in the footer or sidebar, depending on what you're looking to do, it kind of gives you a little bit of options. Now, every single widget that we have allows you to go in and customize the widget CSS. So if you needed to change anything up for any of these widgets, the displays, adding icons instead of words, making the boxes smaller, all that's available, which is right above in that first image that it has up there. It's going to show you the embed script. Just barely below that, it's got blue text that says customize widget CSS. So all the customization is done within that CSS. If you have any questions about those, there's awful lot of uh, good resources out there. One that's very good is like the W3 schools. You can reach out to our support team. We can't really do too much customization Actually, we don't really do much customization at all for clients specifically. But if you're looking for somebody to do customizations, we do have our developer partner program, which is a very good resource for a lot of people to go to where they will actually go in and do some custom CSS for you or help you with that. Next one we have is the lead login widget. This one is you'll uh, add this to the sidebar again, maybe down in the footer. This gives you the ability to provide your visitors with an easy way to log into the MLS, my, or I'm sorry, into my listings manager account so that they can go create their safe searches, safe properties. Now, this is on the right hand side. It's just a small box. Basically, logging in, all you necessarily need on your first visit is the email address once you create that account. Once you create that account, our system will recognize the IP address. It will auto log you in when you come back from that specific IP address unless you have cleared that cache. Slideshow widget is a tool that you can copy and paste into any page of your website. This is one of those that can also be displayed on any domain out there, but it will redirect if you do set it out on a separate domain. 
Slideshow is going to be one property at a time into this. And some of the properties that you can display off of these, it's going to be featured listings, listings that you are the primary listing agent of. It could be a predefined search. So it could be based off of like a neighborhood, community, subdivision, you know, around a golf course, oceanfront, lakefront, lake view, anything you want, 55 and older, anything you want. Basically, if you could perform the search, you can create the widget off of these. Now these work, the properties you can display works for all three of the widgets, slideshow, showcase, and carousel. You can set up ones for specific virtual tours. Great opportunity for right now with being limited to having more um, you know, open houses or in-person views, or just to let alone how fast the market's going, look at it on the computer before you do anything. Open houses, you can filter out those. And again, sold listings. So you can also do, depending on two different options, it could be featured sold listings. So listings that you are the listing agent of that has sold, or if your market provides sold data, this is also something that you can create predefined searches for only sold listings as the status and displaying based off of those certain select areas. A showcase widget is gonna be the same thing. It's gonna generate the embed script, but this one here gives you the ability to display up to 100 at one time. You have the ability to choose how many rows and columns that you have. So for instance, like this one here is four, eight, 12. So you can display the first 12. Now these can be like the newest listings. It could be highest to lowest, lowest to highest. Anything you wanna do, there's several different filters on these. I think there's eight total that you can do with these. So depending on what you're looking to do, you can modify how many is there. These widgets are responsive. So let's say you have 12 here, but there's only seven listings. It's going to shrink it down and show just the seven, and that container is gonna shrink up as well. So it doesn't keep use of that space that's inside there. Carousel widget is a very, very popular choice. This is very clean looking, allows you to pretty much embed it anywhere. You can choose however many listings you want to show at one time. So we're showing five here. You have the ability to show this as two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, depending on what you want to do. What it will do is have arrows on the left and right hand side. This is going to, for this particular instance, it's going to cycle through five listings each time that arrow is pressed. So five, five, and five. If you set it up at two, you're going to be displaying a lot larger images. If you go nine, you're going to be showing smaller images. Again, all of these can be customized with CSS. Map search widgets. These widgets, or this widget, is going to be platinum only. And this is kind of a unique one. This one here is very, very specific. This is one you cannot display on any other domain besides for where the IDX broker account is set up. Most people will put the map search widget on like the home page of their website. Now these widgets are responsive. So if you do want to make it full screen, full width in a footer portion of like the, the main content area, how you can have stuff on the side, you have that ability. You can kind of control inside your widget settings. You can default it to one specific MLS. You can display multiple MLSs. You've got the width and height. You can also make it responsive. So you don't have to worry about that. You can default property types. You can choose the type of map that it's going to be displaying. So there's a road map, satellite, and hybrid, just depending on what you're looking to do. The default zoom, you can set your elevation to be out further, zoom in closer, depending on what you want to do. Everything's going to be centered off of a latitude and longitude. Most people don't know what their latitude and longitude is. That's fine. We have a via address, so you can look it up by typing in one specific address that you want to have centered inside that area. So you'll type up that, once you generate that and save it, it'll populate your latitude and longitude and put it in here. Now this one here is very, very specific with the URL. So it's kind of hard to see, but that's got the domain inside that page map will be used on, okay? Now it's going to generate that long tail URL. This could be on your own hosted page anywhere. One thing to keep in mind is any hyphens or any trailing URLs it must be on this widget setting. So if you keep, if you go to embed one, and let's say you put it on like, a, what's they say, downtown slash condos. Okay, you put that in there, you go look at that widget after you put it in there, and it's not displaying any properties. This particular one, you'd have to come back in here, put the trailing forward slash at the end of condos. 
save your widget, go back and reload, it's then going to display. So just keep in mind, that one is very, very specific. With these here, you can use map pin clustering. Map pin clustering is going to condense everything down. So we have 124 listings in this small area. There's quite a few properties that are lumped inside this certain area because it's within a golf course community, it looks like. So you can click on those like the eight, the two or the 11. It'll zoom in and kind of filter out the individual property icons. If you're running into like a condo building, which is very common, if you send that to there, you link in, or you, I'm sorry, you keep linking it into that, that condo has multiple ones, it'll spiderfy. So basically it'll take the center point and draw out like three lines with property pins. Then you can click on each individual one of them. That's just meaning that it is on one specific page. Now this particular display is on one with a content sidebar set up as the main screen. If you have one that is set up at a full width container, you can also display a map on the full width. So it's obviously going to show more pins, uh, a little bit less clustering, but it just kind of gives you that ability. You also have the option to, when you move the map around, that it will auto refresh. You also have the ability to manually refresh it. So you can move the map and then click, you have to click refresh in the bottom right hand side. Kind of a personal preference allowing you to do whichever you would like off of that. Next one we're gonna to go to is the lead signup widget. Uh, again, platinum only feature here. This widget allows you to easily embed a signup form for capturing your lead. Again, great place for these sidebars or down inside the footers. It's gonna use the default fields that you have set up. First name, last name, email address, phone number. Very common and core information. That is also information that you can add additional fields with these as well. So first name, last name, email address is realistically the primary thing that you need off of these. This allows them to create their My Listings Manager login so they could go save their searches, save their listings, and allow them to receive automatic email updates if there's new listings that come into the MLS that matches those criteria. This allows you to also track every landing page that came from and landing page are going to. And you can see individual pages that they're looking at as far as if it's a results page, a search page, a details page, photo galleries, uh, just allowing you to get all of that one. Next thing we have, uh, Platinum Only, again, this is the new one that people are really liking. It's very clean, got good data. We have our market reports here. So I'm going to kind of show you where to go because we have a new section for grabbing our widgets. So this is your view of your IDX broker control panel. And we're going to click down on the design section so it expands out. We're going to click on widgets and new. Legacy is going to show you all the previous ones that everybody's pretty much used to for the last six years, seven years that we've been running Platinum. So on the new one, it's going to give us two separate options here. We're going to go in and click the create widget for the market reports. We'll jump over to the virtual tours, or I'm sorry, the virtual showings here in just a little bit. With this market report, you're going to give it a name. It could be anything you want, like a zip code. It could be a name of a subdivision, community, city, whatever it is. Locations are pulled in by city, county, or postal zip codes to generate these reports. Now we have three different views that you can do with these. You got your horizontal, as you can see on the right. We've got your square. Depending on where you're looking to do this, it, you can change these up. You can modify them and go back in there. So you can try it. You don't like it. Let's click on that. And then this is our vertical. So just depending on where you're looking to put one, if it's in the subheader, if it's in the actual footer of the website, if it's on a landing page on the right hand side, left hand side, whatever you want to do, it gives you those options. Another thing with these is you can choose the color scheme. So you got the primary, secondary, tertiary. You can go in and choose any of those colors that you want to add with these. So you can modify them depending on what you're looking to do, clean them up a little bit. Have some, you have some room to play with this. Now we have the virtual showings widget. Uh, we're going to go in here and create this specific widget now. Again, we're kind of in the same boat, naming your widget, putting in your location. But now this one here, virtual tour or virtual showing, it's going to basically be similar to what we did with our showcase carousel or slideshows. You can go in, put minimum, maximum price, beds, baths, square foot, allowing you to kind of narrow down some of the things that you want to highlight on. If you're wanting to be, you know, over a certain price point, larger homes, smaller homes, depending on what you're looking to do, 
we have two different options. We've got horizontal here that you can see, and then we also have the vertical as well. So different options for kind of wherever you are looking to display with these. Next one we run into is our Omnibar search. Omnibar search, this one here is the WordPress only one. Now this one's kind of cool. This is a predictive text. So it's going to show like city, county, zip code, address. You also have the ability to add 10 advanced search fields, depending on what you're looking to do. It is going to be broken down by MLS though. So if you're running multiple MLSs, you'll have to kind of go in and do a little bit more playing around, narrow things down based off of the MLS that you want. So predictive text is going to allow you to look at just one thing at a time. So you're either looking for city, you're either looking for a specific address, or you're looking for a listing ID, or if it's a specific thing like a, a community name or subdivision name or a high school, you just look at one property. So as you start typing, it's going to do a drop down and show you the available options that you can choose when you're starting to type. You'll select that and click our search button. This is also a responsive one where you can add additional fields. So if this is going to, we try to keep those in very simple, clean, one line bar. You also have the ability to add like the min price, max price, beds, baths. It makes it a little bit bigger. Very simple, very clean is kind of like what most people go with with this one here. It is responsive. So if you wanted to put it in uh, different sections, sidebars, down in the footers, inside the headers, shorter area, you have that capability. It's open for that. So I just want to show you here, this is where our resources are. So if you go to idxbroker.com, up in the top right hand corner, you hover over help and click on our knowledge base. This allows you to type anything you want to search for. We're talking widgets today, so we're going to go into managing our widgets. This page is going to show all the different types of widgets that we have. Uh, this is the best one that covers everything all in one page. As you scroll down, it's going to show you how to access them, creating widgets. Now, each of these ones here where it says slideshow, showcase, quick search, inside each of these pages here, not going to click into them, inside each of these pages, it actually has a video broken down how to do this. Um, also shows you a little bit more information on how to use a CSS uh, and then how to grab your em uh, embed codes for each of these. Excellent. Hopefully that didn't go too fast for everybody. It's a little bit shorter one. Looks like there has been a tremendous amount of questions coming here. Bishop is killing it over here. I'm going to take just a second and read through some of these and see if there's ones that are good to bring back on air. So give me just one moment. Got a good question that says, who adds all this code to my WordPress? And I am sure they can be added to a WordPress site, correct? So you can add these to a WordPress site. Or, so you have two different options with WordPress. The plugin that we have is going to ha use the API to pull over your page link URLs and your widgets directly into the dashboard. You have the option to use a short code tool editor to add widgets into those pages. Or if you choose to, you can go copy that pay, uh, copy and paste that embed script that we were looking at in the very beginning of it. Uh, where can I find the Omni bar for WordPress? Once you go into the control panel for WordPress, it's going to be in the impress button area, and then it'll say Omnibar. Great question here with the SEO. Yes, so all pages set up on a custom subdomain, all those pages are indexable. We did do a test a couple years ago that even the widgets, no matter where they're displayed at, is going to give the SEO credit to that root domain for those specific widgets. All right, it looks like uh, a lot of the questions are pretty much covered. Happy to answer any more questions. If you ever needed to reach out and wanted to get anything else, we have uh, both of our resources or our support team is available. They are at help at idxbroker.com. Our sales staff can also help you out. We are at info at idxbroker.com. And you could reach any of us by calling in at 800-421-9668. And looking forward to seeing you guys in the next webinar. You guys have a great day.